Now does fine tuning really work? Can you really fine tune a model and make it answer as per your fine tuned instructions or data set? For example, we have this output from Llama 3.2 1 billion instruct. When I say who are you, it gives this response of that it's an artificial intelligence model known as Llama and Llama stands for large language model meta AI. Now what it did and I will show you in just a second is I fine tune this model and then when I ask this question of who are you I get this response I'm Llama 3 an AI assistant developed by Llama factory so let's stop this presentation and I am so excited to show you this Llama factory using which you can easily and efficiently fine-tune your LLMs now it's pretty interesting and it's pretty easy we have had fine-tuning exercises done using unsloth and whatnot so different libraries different operations but if you are looking for something which is easier and it can be done in just a smaller number of steps and it's also visual in the form of a gradio ui then you are in the right place so we have this collab notebook we will go and have a look at the collab notebook but before that let's see a bit more about llama factory so we can fine tune different models, for example, Llama, Lava, Mistral, Mistral MOE, Quen, and whatnot. The integration methods we see we have pre-training, we have supervised fine tuning, reward modeling, PPO, DPO, KTO, ORPO, etc. The resources you can do the 16-bit full tuning, you can do the freeze tuning or LoRa and QLoRa and different bits like two, three, four, five, six, eight bits QLoRa. Now there are different advanced algorithms that you can choose. Now all these things are available in the Gradio interface for you to make the selection and just get started. For example, you can just train the model, you can evaluate the model, you can chat with the model and you can export the model after you have fine tuned and it's pretty easy to do this. So what you can do and you can have a look at the benchmark as well. Let's go to the collab notebook and do it for ourselves. So once we go to the collab notebook, you will be greeted with this uh, starting block of code. Here are some installations that you need to do. Once you get done with the installations, then you can go and check if a uh, torch is available here. Kuda is available after that is done. Now one thing that you need to do if you are trying to work with meta models is that you need to log into Hugging Face. So this is an extra step which will not be available in the default collab. So we need to install Hugging Face and we need to log into the Hugging Face. So how do we log in? We just say login token and we put in the API key. So we can API key from the settings and access tokens here. So we can create a new token or we can use the previously created tokens. Next, we can start the show. So when we run this command, it opens up the Gradio interface. We have two things running, so it's a local URL and a public URL. You can open up the public URL and you will be uh, greeted with this. Now what I've done is uh, let's test out two things. So first without training and then with fine tuning. Okay, so uh, we see that we have so many models that you can choose and I have decided to choose the Llama 3.2 1 billion instruct is a very small model. This is the path from the hugging face so it's a it's a model from meta it's a very recent model and now we are going to fine tune it so we need some data sets to fine tune so the two data sets that we have selected is the identity and the alpaca english demo so you can have a look at the data set as well so you can go and say preview data set and you can see these instructions input output you can see that this is the output and uh, I'm Llama 3, an AI assistant developed by Llama Factory. So these are some of the data sets, some of the JSON, uh, some of the elements of the data set. Using this data, we are going to tune the model. Now, tuning the model is you can keep uh, the learning rate and epochs as fixed as they have already set this out. You can just click on start. You can just uh, give it a name uh, of, let's say, prompt two or train prompt one and then you can just start the training once you start the training we will have this sort of a progress bar so here is a progress bar 90 percent it's done so once it, this is done what you can do is we can go and load up our chat here so you can go to chat here 
and you can load up the checkpoint but before that let me unload this model now and load this model now so we are in the original model which is llama 3.21 million instruct now here i can ask uh, who are you who are you and let's click on submit in this case this is a normal model it's a pre-trained model and it correctly says that i'm an artificial model known as llama llama stands for large language model meta ai now we can take the checkpoint model so we will take our fine-tune model now and again unload the model and reload the model now it's loading the model and it, all these things uh, will be updated as logs uh, on the gradio interface or in the cli here but going back to chat with this model now and i can say who are you question mark and click on submit now we can see that i am llama 3 an ai assistant developed by llama factory as you can see we have definitely fine-tune the model you fine-tune the smaller model with the data sets and it's ready to go now you can export this in a different directories and you can use this in whatnot formats you can use this in olama you can upload it to the hugging face uh, library on on your account and you are good to go and keep it for your use case so in this way you can fine-tune this model with your data sets that you can prepare and it's so easy to get started here it's so easy to fine tune and you can see the results it's pretty great you can see the loss decreasing and i'm really excited and happy that i was able to find this so easy solution llama factory try use it and mention in the comment section if you're facing any difficulty or if any issue if there is anything that you would like to mention having said that if you think that ai cannot think and act like a human in terms of controlling your computer you may be wrong because check out this next video that shows the ai framework that thinks and acts like a human see you there